Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says A dietitian has to develop a special diet using two foods P and Q. Each packet containing 30 gram of food P contains 12 units of calcium, 4 units of iron, 6 units of cholesterol and 6 units of vitamin A. Each packet of the same quantity of food Q contains 3 units of calcium, 20 units of iron, 4 units of cholesterol and 3 units of vitamin A. The diet requires at least 240 units of calcium, at least 460 units of iron and at most 300 units of cholesterol. How many packets of each food should be used to maximize the amount of vitamin A in the diet? What is the maximum amount of vitamin A? The diet requires at least 240 units of calcium, at least 460 units of iron and at most 300 units of cholesterol. How many packets of each food should be used to maximize the amount of vitamin A in the diet? What is the maximum amount of vitamin A in the diet? So let's start the solution. So here we will first formulate the linear programming problem according to the given conditions and then we will solve it graphically. Let X and Y be the number of packets of food B and Q respectively. Now, according to the question, a dietitian has to develop a special diet using two foods, P and Q. Now, each packet containing 30 gram of food P contains 12 units of calcium, while each packet of the same quantity of food Q contains 3 units of calcium and the diet requires at least 240 units of calcium. So we have 12x plus 3y greater than or equal to 240. Now this is a constraint. On calcium, or this can be written as 4x plus y greater than or equal to 80. Now again we have each packet of food P contains 4 units of iron and each packet of the same quantity of food Q contains 20 units of iron and the diet requires at least 460 units of iron. So again we have 4x plus 20y is greater than equal to 460. Now this is a constraint on iron or this can be written as x plus 5y greater than equal to 115. Also each packet of food P contains 6 units of cholesterol and 
ईच पैकेट ऑफ फूड क्यू कंटेन्स फोर यूनिट्स ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड द डाइट रिक्वायर्स एट मोस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड यूनिट्स ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल नाउ दिस इज आर फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट दिस इज आर सेकेंड कंस्टेंट ऑल्सो वी हैव सिक्स एक्स प्लस फोर वाई लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड नाउ दिस इज अ कंस्टेंट ऑन कोलेस्ट्रॉल और दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई लेस देन इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी नाउ ऑब्वियसली एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वाई इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो दीज आर नॉन नेगेटिव कंस्टेंट्स नाउ According to the given question, we have to maximize the amount of vitamin A in the diet. Now, each packet of food P contains six units of vitamin A, and each packet of food Q contains three units of vitamin A. So, total amount. in units of vitamin a is 6x plus 3y let z is equal to 6x plus 3y hence the mathematical formulation of the problem is maximize z is equal to 6x plus 3y now this is our objective function let us give this as number 1 subject to the constraints for x plus y greater than equal to 80 x plus 5y greater than equal to 115 3x plus 2y less than equal to 150 x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 now let us number these constraints as 2 3 4 And five. Now we will draw the graph and find the feasible region subject to these given constraints. Now we will first draw the line representing the equation 4x plus y is equal to 80 corresponding to the inequality 4x plus y greater than equal to 80. Now clearly the points 0, 80. And 20 lie on the line 4x plus y is equal to 80. Therefore, the graph of this line can be drawn by plotting points 0, 80, and 20 and then joining them. Now, let us take A as a point 0, 80, and B as a point. 
ट्वेंटी जीरो सो ए बी रिप्रेजेंट द लाइन फोर एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू एटी नाउ दिस लाइन डिवाइड द प्लेन इंटू टू हाफ प्लेन बट वी विल कंसिडर द हाफ प्लेन विच सेटिस्फाइज टू सो वी विल कंसिडर द हाफ प्लेन विच डज नॉट कंटेन द ऑरिजिन अगेन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लाइन कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू द इनइक्वालिटी एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन इज एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टीन अगेन वी विल ड्रॉ द लाइन रिप्रेजेंटिंग द इक्वेशन एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टीन ऑन द सेम ग्राफ नाउ क्लियरली द पॉइंट जीरो And one fifteen zero satisfies the equation x plus five y is equal to one hundred fifteen. So we will plot these points and then join them. Now let us take C as a point zero twenty three and D as a point. One fifteen zero. Again, CD represents the line x plus five y is equal to one fifteen. Now, CD divides the plane into two half planes. So, we will consider the half plane which satisfies three. So, the half plane. which does not contain the origin satisfies 3 again the equation of the line corresponding to the inequality 3x plus 2y less than equal to 150 is 3x plus 2y is equal to 150 now clearly the points 0 75 And fifty zero lie on the line. Three x plus two y is equal to one fifty. So we will plot these points on the same graph, and then we will join them. Now, let us take E as a point zero seventy five and F as a point. Fifty zero. So E F represent the equation of the line three x plus two y is equal to one fifty. Again E F divides the plane into two half planes. We will consider the half plane which will satisfies four. That is. Which will satisfy the inequality 3x plus 2y less than equal to 150. So the half plane which contains the origin is the graph of 4. Also, x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 implies that the graph lies in the first quadrant only. Now, let us take the point of intersection of the line x plus five y is equal to one fifteen, and four x plus y is equal to eighty as a point M. Clearly, the coordinates of M are fifteen twenty. Again, let us take the point of intersection of the line CG and EF as the point N. Now, clearly, the coordinates of point N are forty fifteen. Now, let us take the point of intersection of 
A B and E F as the point L. So the coordinates of point L are two seventy two. Hence the shaded region in the graph is the feasible region satisfying the all given constraints. Now here the feasible region is the triangle. L M N with coordinate of vertices as 272 1520 and 4015 respectively so we will evaluate z at each corner point so we have the coordinates of of the corner points l m and n r 272 1520 and 4015 respectively now we will evaluate z at each corner point so at the point 272 z is equal to 6 into 2 plus 3 into 72 which is equal to 12 plus 216 and that is again equal to 228 now at the point 1520 z is equal to 6 into 15 plus 3 into 20 which is equal to 90 plus 60 and that is equal to 150 again at the point 4015 Z is equal to six into forty plus three into fifteen, and that is equal to two forty plus forty five, which is equal to two eighty five. Hence, maximum value of Z. is equal to 285 which occurs when x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 15 hence the amount of vitamin a under the constraints given in the problem will be maximum if 40 packets of food p and 20 packets of food q are used in the special diet the maximum amount of vitamin a will be 285 units hence the answer for this question is 40 packets of food p and 15 packets of food q maximum amount of vitamin a is equal to 285 units so this completes our solution i hope the solution is clear to you bye and have a nice day